to my channel if you're new here hello my name is Kay I'm a professional home organizer and soprano here in the Boston area I'm here to inspire you to live a more organized life in today's video I'm gonna be putting the finishing touches on my organized pantry I organized my rental pantry I put some custom shelving up in it and if you want to look at that video I will link it up in a card up above so you can see what the before was and what the after was and today we're gonna to put sort of the icing on the cake on that pantry I'm gonna be making some beautiful custom labels for them some containers and some beautiful custom labels for the drawers. I'm gonna be doing this all with my Cricut Joy and that brings me to today's sponsor is Cricut. Now you guys loved my last Cricut video where we talked about pantry organizing and the main question I got is like, A, what is a Cricut and what does it do? And how easy is it to use? And I'm gonna answer both of those questions today. So the Cricut Joy is a cutting machine. You guys may have seen the regular Cricut, the big cutting machine. This one is a little mini tiny cutting machine and it's great for small spaces, but it's super, super easy to use. All you need is an app that you can download onto your phone, your iPad, or you can use it on your laptop or your computer if you want. But I usually like to use it on my iPad because just because it's easier. Um, and we're gonna make some awesome custom labels with it. You can cut vinyl or other materials to make beautiful customized labels, especially for you, or you can actually make greeting cards with it, which is super fun because I don't buy greeting cards anymore. I just always make greeting cards. I feel like they're extra special if they're made by you, or you can also actually use the Cricut with a pen to make labels that are written by the Cricut, um, and they're much neater than I could ever write myself because my handwriting, it's, it's a thing. So today we're gonna finish a project I started a, a little while ago, which was the custom labels for my dry goods from for my pantry. So I will show you what I've done so far and we'll show you the pantry, what it looks like right now. So here is our beautiful rental pantry and we've got a little snack invasion happening down here. But for the most part, it still looks pretty good. And I've got these containers. Um, these, I, don't, I think these are discontinued by the way, but I got them from the container store like years and years ago and I still have them, still love them. But as you can see, I've labeled a few of them. Like this is jasmine rice, brown rice, basmati rice. And then I haven't labeled these three. And I also would like to label the flower up there and a couple of these up here so we know what they are. Um, and I get a lot of questions about these particular labels. They are um, <laughs> chemical <laughs> labels. This one is baking soda and this one is um, sugar. This is the chemical formula for sucrose if you don't know. So um, I'm, I, I could do the same thing with the salt. I think this is icing sugar as well. So I'll probably do something a little different for that. But yes, nerd alert. And also down here in these drawers, they do um, make labels for these. And these drawer, these labels actually came from another place. So instead of doing the uh, vinyl labels, which you would stick on here, I'm just gonna go ahead and have the Cricut write the label of whatever's in here. And that way, I, if I change my mind about what's stored in the drawers, I'm not committed. This is pretty much permanent on here. This is the permanent vinyl. Um, and I, you know, it's a commitment. But for this drawer, I don't wanna make too much of a commitment. So I'm gonna have the Cricut just draw the labels for that one. Oh, and if you're not familiar, I've actually done my spice jars too with the permanent vinyl, and I think they look great. I love, I love being able to see exactly what's in each spice jar because your girl cooks a lot. Can you tell? Can you tell? Why'd you get up? I was gonna, I was gonna record your sploot. I was gonna record your sploot. Okay, you're gonna go sit by your friend, the Roomba. Okay, you enjoy. That's his best friend, by the way. He loves to sleep by this Roomba. I, I don't, I don't know. There's a lid for every pot, I suppose. So I'm gonna grab my Cricut Joy and we're gonna get to work. Woo! I'll start with these three here. I did write on them on one side with some like chalk paint, but we can, um, you know, we can sort that out later. Hello, Clover. Have you come to uh, see what I'm doing? Yeah, I think you have. Okay, here is my Cricut Joy inside this cute little carrying case. How adorable is this? And this is how small it is. <laughs> I guess we'll take out the cords. 
And here it is. This is how small this cutting machine is. Is this not the tiniest, cutest thing? There's a little hair in there you've ever seen. And inside there's a tiny little blade that I'll pull out and I'll show it to you. There's like the tiniest little blade inside the machine. Um, and you can just pop it in there. Boom, you're ready to cut. And there's also, you can also put pens in there to let the Cricut draw instead of cut. So we'll do that a little bit later. So today to complete my project, I'm gonna be using some Smart Vinyl. Wow, thank you, Clover. The Smart Materials from Cricut are great because you don't need a mat to go underneath here to hold the material. You can put the Smart Mat in the Cricut Joy to hold that material to the mat so that it goes, it feeds into the machine correctly. But with these smart vinyls and smart uh, materials, you don't have to do that. You can just put them right into the machine without a mat, which is awesome. Um, so today we're gonna use some smart vinyl in black to finish off this project. All right, I'm gonna go into my Cricut Design Studio app. There is an app just for the Cricut Joy as well, but I like to work in the Cricut Design space. Um, let me just sign in. And so I'm gonna pick new project and I get this sort of blank canvas, well, this blank grid space. So the grid space is basically like kind of the size, this, imagine it this to be the paper. And so um, before you do your project, you wanna make sure that you know exactly how much space you'll need or how big to make your project. Otherwise, you can, you can actually make it too big or too small. I want this pretty much to take up the entire side. So this is about like four inches by like um, an inch and a half tall. So there are inches indicated on the Cricut Design app so that you don't uh, make things too big. So we're gonna keep to those dimensions and make our label. Let's see, what else do I have here? I have bulgur. Okay. How do you spell bulgur? Is it like that? No, it's like this, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I don't know how to spell bulgur. Okay, I have it spelled right. Wow. You know how sometimes when you're like trying to spell a word and it looks wrong, but it's right? That's how I was feeling about bulgur. Bulgur is a really strange word. Um, a very odd word. Okay, so we got lentils, panko, and bulgur, things that we use all the time and always run out of, and we just, just make a commitment to the container, okay? Okay, so we've got our labels all ready to print and we will go to uh, the little button that says make it. I'm gonna press that. And it's gonna bring up a menu. And it's gonna ask me to cut it without a mat, on mat, on card mat, uh, multiple ways. And I'm gonna select on uh, without mat because it's, this is a Cricut Smart Material, so it's gonna be able to feed it without the mat, so we'll just choose without mat. So let's go ahead and press continue. And then it's gonna ask me to load the machine. And you see the little, the little blinky light? That means put stuff in, put stuff in. So we're gonna go ahead and put stuff in. There we go. And it's basically gonna load the material into the machine and figure out if you actually have enough material to work with. And then all you need to do when it's ready to go is just tap go and it's gonna go. Let's go. Okay, we've got our cool labels. I made them a little bit bigger. And um, we're ready to go ahead and take these and start putting them on the container. So the next thing we're gonna need to do is cut these and do a little weeding. What is weeding? I will show you. Okay, this is gonna be hard to see, but I'm gonna basically cut each label out individually. There's a little bit of space between the labels. So I'm gonna be really careful I wanted to like maximize the use of this smart vinyl. Okay, with this vinyl, you want to remove the, like there's a sticker basically, and you're gonna, gonna wanna peel that off and what's gonna remain is your letters. So we're gonna start that. We're gonna start with the lentils, why not? There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Don't do this in a hurry, just take your time, you know. When you're making labels, you're just, you're chilling anyway, so you're not in a big hurry, right? 
boom, boom. Okay, come on. There we go. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right. And this one we don't need to weed, so we're gonna look, put that one aside. Okay, so this one we're gonna have to weed, and that means we're gonna take away the little insert that's, <laughs> that didn't come off on the O, and also in the hole in the P. Basically, in anywhere where the vinyl didn't come off of the, the backing here, you're gonna wanna remove, and this is a, this is the Cricut weeding tool, and it's got a very, very sharp end, so I advise, do not, do not lose this little cover that comes with it, that covers it. Um, it's, I mean, it's very sharp. So just be very careful, hold on to this. I'm putting it right on my iPad there so I don't lose it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get, scrape underneath here and get this little piece of vinyl off. Here we go. Here we go, and it comes right off. This is especially helpful when you're doing like smaller projects and the stuff is like really small, this is gonna be your best friend. Otherwise you're gonna, it's, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. Oh, we need to do it for the A too. Okay, here we go. Let's weed. Here we go. And for the P, there we go. And we're golden. Okay, so we've got our labels ready to transfer. So what we're gonna do now is you're gonna need some transfer tape. This is the what you're gonna use to transfer this label from this tape to your container. So the great thing about the transfer tape though is you can reuse it a bunch of times before it's not sticky anymore. It's really handy. There we go, let's cut a little bit of transfer tape. All right, so here, take the backing off like that. And you can see it's a clear, it's a clear tape. So what we're gonna do is let's do the bulgur first. That's like the biggest one. So I'm gonna take my transfer tape and I'm gonna stick it on to the label like that. Boom. And then I'm gonna grab this little guy. This is like what if you're putting on wallpaper, you know, you you smooth out your edges like that. We're gonna smooth out this label to get it to really stick on the transfer tape. What that is gonna do is it's gonna lift up the label from the backing onto the transfer tape, and that's why it's called transfer tape, because once you do that, you just transfer the label. <laughs> And just be patient with yourself while you're doing this. We want to make sure that you really get a good, that you really adhere this label to the transfer tape really well so that the whole thing comes off. Oh, good. First time's a charm. Sometimes if the label appears to be sticking to the backing, don't worry, just go back and rub it down some more and it eventually it will stick to the transfer tape. Just be very patient. There we go, everything's going perfectly. Okay, perfect. So now we have our bulgur label, and it's gonna go this way. <laughs> I think the, the camera is mirrored a little bit, I can see it. So here we have our bulgur container, container, <laughs> bulgur container. I'm gonna put it down here. I'm gonna, gonna position it where I want it to be on the container. Let's see. I want it to be like right here. It's kind of perfect like that. And then I'm gonna smooth it down with my fingers. You can even use the tool again, but normally when I get to this point, I like to just use my hand because it's not as intense. Okay. So once you've smoothed down a little bit, you're gonna to wanna to pull the transfer tape away. And your label should be transferred to your container. <laughs> Yay! And I'm going to use this transfer tape for the other ones too. You can reuse them a bunch of times. So you don't have to use a new piece of transfer tape each time, but like, Look at that, isn't that pretty? And it's your own customized label. It looks like it was, you know, you bought this and had a special label made. They're beautiful and they just add that extra, like just a little bit of va va voom to your pantry. So I'm gonna do the other labels and then we'll do the ones for the drawers.
After I was done making all my vinyl labels, I decided to move on to my drawer labels and I have this deluxe paper in these cute patterns. It's like, they're like spring-like patterns. And I picked out this sort of lilac florally one and I wanted to draw on the label instead of cut the label. So I had my Cricut go ahead and draw for me because it did a much better job than I could have done. Like, look at that, that is so much better. I guess I could fill it in if I wanted to, but I didn't. I thought it looked cute the way it was and this is the way they turned out. I thought they were pretty cute. And if I ever change my mind in the future, I can just make new labels and stick them in. They have like, they have like little slits. That's how they go in there. And now my pantry is complete and it looks so good. And everything is labeled because y'all know, your girl loves a label. I love a label. Okay, everyone, that's gonna do it for the project. I hope this inspires you. If you've always wanted to try a Cricut, uh, grab a Cricut Joy or, or find out more about Cricut, I'm gonna put some links in the description down below so that you can find out more about Cricut and to get your own. Again, thanks so much to Cricut for sponsoring today's video and letting me do this awesome project for you guys. I hope you're having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.